welcome to Techs. I'm Luke Brimble and in this video I'll be talking you through how to make a custom intro for your videos. If you like the contents of this channel make sure you subscribe and press the notifications bell and this will notify you when we upload new content. If you've enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like and leave any comments down below. So we're going to make a custom intro for your videos. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do some work on a logo. So this is the first time I'm making it for this channel. So we're going to go to my OneDrive and we're going to pick up text. We're going to go into the logo. So we're going to open up a logo that I've made for this channel. Again, here it is. Okay, but I want the intro to have a little bit of movement, okay, and I want the background to stay still. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the background by doing this. We're going to drop in a solid fill and we're going to turn it bright green. What this is going to do is going to give the um, green screen effect. So we're going to get rid of the shadow. Okay, and this is our, our text with green screen. So having the green screen, we can now make this transparent in our video. So we'll save this as green screen demo. We'll save this as a JPEG. Okay, we want it to be high quality. So we'll, we'll save it to the highest quality we can. Hit the save button. And that's our logo there with a green background so we can make it transparent later in the video. All I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the same logo. But this time I'm going to get rid of the logo and leave the carbon fibre background. I'm going to save this. That's just carbon fibre. Demo. Okay, we're going to drop that as a JPEG. Again, I want this to be high quality. And I'm going to save that as a JPEG. So that's our, our, our logo ready to go. We're going to open up Wondershare for Mora. And we're going to import the two files that we've, um, what we've created. So we're going to go to my text folder. I'm going to go to logo. We're going to open up the two pictures, the carbon fiber and the text with the green screen. So now we've got the, the green screen version and we've got the carbon fiber background ready to go. So we're going to add these to our video. So we're going to add the carbon fiber first. We're going to want to change this to an aspect ratio that will suit YouTube. So we're going to go to 16 by 9. We're going to press OK. We're going to then add the green screen. So you have to click and drag this into the double video screen below. That will drop in here. OK, we're going to double click it. We're going to go to Advanced. And this is where we're going to find our green screen um, effects. So we're going to make, it's really picking up this color here. So we're going to make this transparent. And as you can see, see here, it's now made this transparent. I'm going to press OK, and as you can see now, that is transparent with the carbon fiber background. Okay, we're going to come out of that, and now we've got the ability to add these movement effects. Whereas before, in my first videos, it was just a, a solid picture, a, the text logo with the carbon fiber carbon fiber background. Okay, it was just solid. Now I'm going to be able to move the text logo around with the carbon fiber background staying still. So let's have a look at, go at this and we can make these as big as we want. We can drag these out. Same again with the green one. And we'll have a little play. We'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, that's starting to move really well. You can see around the edges, I've, it's still picking up a bit of green. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go to advanced. 
I'm going to click onto this uh, box here, and this is basically going to give us the ability to crop the box. So as I, as I crop it, here it's going to get rid of the green border that is picked up. When we go to the start of the video, okay, you can see that green edge border has now gone. This is just a demo window, so the quality is a little bit smaller. Okay, and what we can do with this as well, we can make this um, bigger. Or smaller, just by dragging out the picture. Okay, and we can move that around to fit the page. So there's just perfect. This is what it's going to look like. This is the rough size. So yeah, we'll have a play around, have a uh, have a play with a few different effects, and see how these sort of look in the video. You can drag these out. You can see that this is 20, 25 seconds. So we'll put it down to ten seconds. Okay, now we can see the video there. Again, we'll come in, we'll try and find one that we like. You can sort of hover above them and they, they will show you roughly what they will look like. I'm looking for one that sort of spin in. Maybe with a bit more speed. Let's go up and let's have a look at some of the ones at the top. So these ones, yeah, these are starting to look, yeah. So this one's quite good, it's got a spin. This was called spin three, so we'll add that. So we'll go back to the start and then we'll see how this looks. What you can do as well, you can shorten you can shorten it so it starts off and then it comes into the video. And then it'll pan out. Great. So that's our intro videos custom to our channel using the logo by just simply using a green screen transparent effect. Uh, I find that the green is just easier to make transparent. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to export this. We'll save this as text intro and we'll export that. Make sure it's in a good quality, not in the best quality we can, and we'll export that. It So now that the video has been saved as an MP4, we can now search for it and just insert it into the video and we can use it as an intro. We can also use it as an end screen. Um, so we can also drop in our uh, recommended videos and our um, subscription button in the middle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, make sure you like it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and click the notifications bell and this will tell you when we upload new contents.